am much stronger now than I ever was before. Becky Roth discovered strength she never knew she had. Running is the easy part. When she ran through a storm. This is the journal when I couldn't speak. I would write notes. My mouth doesn't really even bother me. It threatened everything. It's all leg pain. Her running, her speech. I feel like I got hit by a truck. Her life. Uh, it's kind of hard to look back and read it and think that that was really what I went through. Multiple surgeries, chemotherapy, excruciating radiation, all left their mark. I hit the scars. All over my body. More scars left by this oral here. cancer, one of the toughest treatments to undergo. This is the most incredible woman I've ever met. <sighs> Becky's husband, Chris, knows what she's been through. And it just hurt that I couldn't take that pain away. His wife of 27 years, mother of their two children, and a teacher for children with autism, endured the nearly unbearable. Reading it brings it right back. It wasn't scary at first. Her dentist discovered a white spot on her tongue. It was benign. Uh, I've never smoked. I'm active, healthy. She had none of the risk factors for oral cancer, like heavy drinking and smoking, but the spot kept coming back. <sighs> Five years later, yeah. Dr. Yeah. Brian Bell at the Providence Cancer right. Center discovered a tumor at the base of her tongue and jaw. You can see it here. So That's when the storm began. There you are. Dr. Bell had to remove two inches of her jawbone. And in Becky's case, uh, it was particularly complex all the way over. He rebuilt her jaw by removing her leg bone, the fibula, and surrounding tissue to reconstruct her face. Yeah. This really scared me. This sounded like, you know, she may not make it. The storm grew. The next year, the cancer was back. It hurt so bad. This time, Dr. Bell had to remove more of her jaw. She actually is missing about two thirds of her jaw. And half her tongue. Her chances of survival went down. The next two weeks were the most excruciating and she'd wake up in the middle of the night just screaming and Four pain. surgeries. She nearly died on the operating table. There wasn't anything you could do about it and it just was tough. They removed the fibula from her other leg. Ten inches of fibula. Wow. More of oh, Becky's wow. face was disfigured yeah. and reconstructed. Uh -huh. She endured 33 radiation treatments. I hate the way my face looks. I hate the wrinkles from radiation. That's not what cry. Chris sees. I look in her eyes and I see the most beautiful human being that God ever made. With Chris by her side. I still think she's very beautiful. She yeah. fought back. I know how hard he fought for me with a team of heroes. That's really cool. He is amazing. Led by Providence Cancer Center's Dr. Bell. I don't know how many hours he spent saving my life. The fibula is a secondary bone. With both of her fibulas gone, another doctor told her she'd likely never run again. Kind of made it my mission to prove him wrong. And boy, did she prove him wrong. Four months later, she ran a 5K, then half marathons, the Savi Island full marathon in under four hours, qualifying for Boston. Dr. Bell calls Becky an inspiration. Gives people that have to follow her, uh, follow her in her footsteps, gives them hope. Yep, I feel very good. All without her fibulas. No problems. She trained this summer for the Hood to Coast Relay. Who's your favorite runner? She ran with other cancer survivors and caregivers from Providence Portland's Cancer Center. Their team name? Providence Cancer Crushers. Two, one, get out of here. We can't be here and not be excited about the race. It is a grueling 199-mile relay from Timberline Lodge. 817! 830! To Seaside. Luke is our next runner. Over more than 31 and a half hours for Becky's team. Go, Luke! Becky's next. 
She's going to show you how to really crush cancer. With little sleep, Becky ran three separate legs, totaling 16 miles. She's such a stud. Look at her. I know. She's cruising along. <laughs> Good job. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Becky ran her team's final leg, running to the finish line in Seaside. Hashtag finish cancer. We got to run together the last five miles, and this girl's got a story. Awesome, awesome, awesome. For those who call Becky a hero, she shrugs it off. Last job. I'm a mom. First and foremost, I'm a wife and a mother. I could live 100 years, uh, 100 lifetimes, and I wouldn't be worthy of this woman. She kept getting better. So impressive. That's pretty, pretty good for what she's been through. <laughs> About that storm, Becky keeps this quote close. Is that a whisper in my ear? Who needs a fibula? as a reminder of all she has overcome. I'm not strong enough to withstand the storm. Today I was in the devil's ear. I am the storm. The smile stays on that face. It, it makes it awesome. She's my inspiration.